The Alamo has been known around the world since 1836 as a symbol of freedom, freedom that one will fight and die for. When a person encounters the Alamo, they've heard it through books and movies, but when they walk on these grounds and walk inside that chapel, they have an instant personal connection with the Alamo defenders and what it was like to bleed and die for liberty. We remember the Alamo, especially here in Texas, as one of the most important battles in America's history, where men and women courageously stood up for their rights to liberty. Every year, the descendants of the fallen heroes of the Alamo gather together for a memorial service to honor their ancestors. Well, this is the 22nd anniversary of a ceremony. We've always had a candlelight memorial inside the chapel. This year, for the first time in over 20 years, the memorial service at that chapel where so many of their ancestors died almost didn't happen. This year, due to the tricentennial of San Antonio, we were um, asked not to have our ceremony inside the chapel. First Liberty Institute stepped in to defend Lee White, a seventh generation Texan and a descendant of one of the fighters of the Alamo, Gordon C. Jennings. Gordon C. Jennings, age 57, when he died inside the Alamo, he was the oldest defender. We worked hand in hand with the Alamo to make sure that the descendants could have their memorial service at the chapel, the most sacred location in the Alamo. When you look at the Alamo, you see the famous hump, the chapel. It's an iconic image. It is known around the world, but it's more than just a historic building. This isn't just another historic site. This is more about the spirit of the men who died here. The story of the Alamo is bigger than the building. It's about men who came together from all over the world with backgrounds from lawyers to painters to plasterers that gathered for one moment in history for something they believed in. And they stood, fought, and died for it. It's important for our clients and Americans everywhere to be able to honor fallen heroes who fight for liberty. Just like in our case, Bladensburg, where we're defending the Bladensburg World War I Memorial and the ability to continue to honor the fallen there. It's important to remember our Alamo heroes and our military soldiers of today because we all stand on their shoulders. It's important to memorialize them, to honor them through ceremonies inside the Alamo or through uh, statues, memorials, because we should never let that die. We should never forget what they've done for us. We should always honor that. Just like the Alamo defenders, First Liberty fights for our freedoms and our rights every day. And we are most grateful. Remember the Alamo and remember First Liberty. <laughs>